Open your head Take a glance Don't be scared I'm right here Even though Welcome back friends, this is Wings Rule and we're going to get into some Guild Clash battle. Um, we're going to go right after the Stronghold first. Unfortunately, he is slightly overpowered. All right, let's kill it. Skull Mage? Wow. All right, um, who do we want to kill? Who is our... Frick, yeah, they're all dead. All right, let's try and take this guy out in one shot. I'm going to try and save my landslide so that um, his divine, um, so that we can uh, see about um, using the chariot divine at the same time, right in the center of the base. Uh, I feel like that might be a pretty uh, seriously beast mode idea. Um, because if we can get that Chariot Divine off, um, we can spam Ambrosia like crazy. There goes Abyss wandering like a freaking idiot. So that's not going to help us much. Um, as you can see, I have made some adjustments to my lineup. I'm not using, uh, I'm not using Enchantress this time. Um, I just want to see, uh, ten, like... Damage wise, I want to see how this turns out. Okay, so we're into fighting Great Sage one more time here. We're going to lock him right out. Okay, so everybody's kind of heading to the center, which is good. They're all inside the Allied Winds. Looks like we have a really remarkable number of uh, Mercs available to us. Unfortunately, everybody's kind of getting stunned here by the Pounder which is annoying um, but I think the only the only real drawback to that is um, where am I at for mental note here um, they've changed they've revised it right so now you can't even activate the skills even when you're stunned even though they won't start taking effect until the moment of um, they recover from their stun but we're gonna get in here we're gonna try and do some work uh, try and try and take this guy down a, a peg here for Steve and yeah they're heading right into the center which is exactly where we want them to be um, I'd like Abyss to wake the hell up for a second he's getting smoked um, so Ambrose shooting at the center. We're gonna hit this divine now. There we go. Everybody's going after the stronghold now. So we probably won't have any uh, any difficulty here. We won't more than likely need uh, landslide or abyss demon skill anymore this match so it's gonna be basically just da uh, damage dealing heroes for the rest of the way here we'll keep the landslide alive a little bit longer hopefully come on abyss do your thing do what you do best Heal the mofos up. So as you can see, Landslide is back to full health. And um, looks like I underestimated his outer defenses because 
Um, they actually really put landslide through the ringer. I probably should have hit Abyss Demon's skill instead of landslides. But it's only a waste of one rage. So looks like we got substantial damage on that stronghold. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good first attack, 55%. That's going to pretty much uh, set the stage for Steve to take him out in one shot. So um, let's, let's uh, post the replay so that we can uh, make a determination of where we go after this. All right. We're going to... All right, so we're going to pause this video. All right, we're ready. Um, I think maybe I haven't really looked at these guys. Um, I just saw the stronghold was a bit a bit overmatched, so I thought maybe we should get in there and, and go to work. Um, once we take out these five bases, it's going to be an absolute free for all. So. Um, yeah, so we just jump right in friggin face first. So this guy's got landslide and pounder on his base uh, Looks like he's the only one left available to attack everybody else. Oh Are we in? Okay, so we're ready um, How are we gonna do this all right, we're gonna try and take this guy out in one shot Come on over Pan, come on over Chiron, um, there's a party going on around here. So let's, uh, let's get you to work. Uh, landslide's dead, so that's a, that's a solid plus. Why is Landslide, my Landslide, walking by Pangoli to get to the guild bot? That is absurd. That is absurd. How how on earth does he target that? <laughs> that is priceless. All right, so it looks like everybody's kind of getting stunned the shit out of them. But here we go. All right, they're going to move. They're going to make it happen right into the base here. Again, this isn't the stronghold, so... Um, it's going to be pretty likely that we're going to get through somewhere, at least in the vicinity of 80% on this guy. Um, it's unfortunate that that they've either, they must have uh, kind of embellished their trophy uh, count a little bit. Because as you can see, I mean, <clears throat> I've got 90% of my mercs still alive. So, I mean... How is that possible against a keep after the heroes are all dead? But, yeah, whatever. We're going to wait till Lancelot, uh, they take out that hero hall there on the uh, north north side of this base. And once that goes down, they're all going to move into those victory statues. Then we're going to use Landslide Stomp and uh, some allied winds. As you can see, my rage meter is pretty well maxed out. Um, okay, so in we go. Um, we're gonna. Oh shit! They're all going. They're all moving to the freaking west or the east here. This is not exactly how I wanted it. I wanted them to push. Let's get a bis going here. Okay, so the mercs are going to hopefully push the pathing back to the town hall here. It's kind of tough to see. Oh shit, we're wasting tons of friggin' rage here. It's, it's kind of unusual for me to have this much free rage. Um, so, sorry. Uh, sorry team, hopefully I don't uh, blow this attack out of it. Alright, so we're going to get moving on this, uh, this town hall now. 
All right, so we're going to one last Ambrosia, Chariot Divine, and Landslide. Ambrosia is going to boost this in a big way, um, this big push, because when she uses her skill, um, she boosts the attack. So there goes that Town Hall. That was... Yeah, this is pretty much over here. I don't see any reason why I won't be able to clear this base. Even though I frigged up on my allied wins there. Um, yeah, he's only got somewhere around 85% uh, remaining. I don't think I'm going to need to waste any, any on uh, Abyss Demon. Looks like there's only just a few more defenses available to take down. Nothing particularly strong. This hero hall is, is kind of stalling us out. Now we're going to move into the rest of this base, and it's going to be pretty bad. Okay, 22 seconds left. You know what? I think here's how this is going to play out. I am going to miss this by a few percentage, um, and it's going to probably be a direct result of uh, me missing all that rage that I had built up. That's my bad, guys. Um, somebody can easily come in and clean this base up. Shoot, that's really unfortunate. That's super unfortunate. So, yeah, 1.4%, that's ridiculous. That's my, that's my bad. All right, so it looks like, yeah, this, I don't know how these guys even fit into our category. Chest level 13 is in between 50 and 100 on the guild rankings. How are these guys in that range? I don't feel like it's particularly fair. Uh, we're going to hit Hemat. Um, he's the highest level keep. Um, it's not really saying much, but it, he is, so it is the truth. Unfortunately, guys, um, I'm sorry for the way this is going down, honestly. Um, yeah, sorry, man. This is not nice. Um, we're going to block out Landslide here, make sure he doesn't get his stomp going. And, uh, yeah, we're going to probably block out the rest of these freaks. Okay, so we're going to use Ambrosia here. Um, what we're going to use her for is wiping out the shield. Um, yeah. That's the idea here. We're going to take out the shield. That's going to push us through this base a little quicker. This is absurd. There's no reason for it. Um, you kind of, you guys kind of backed yourself into this corner, I'm going to have to say. Um, we kind of got placed against uh, Serbija, and and that was, that was really... Um, because of the way IGG has de um, designed their their guild clash matching system, so we're gonna use Abyss one more time here. Um, not that it was needed, just why not? Um, he's gonna go running into the center. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is. It's almost not even going to be good video coverage here. This is insanity. We got Landslide on the outside edge, so he's not really going to... His buffs, uh, his um, stomp isn't really going to do much. His, uh... Okay, so we're going to use our first spell here. Okay, Ambro, move into the 
the middle here so we can get that allied winds on you as well. Oh no, she found a further outside structure to go and tamper with, so... Landslide's doing cleanup. He's shopping in the corner. See if we can get everybody in on that. Okay, so that should push us through that town hall pretty quick. Especially with Ambro um, playing with her fire. Thunderblades should push through pretty easy too. Uh, helping take out those outside structures every time Abyss strikes, so... Okay, so that's it for the Chariot Divine, and yeah, a minute left, and two spells remain. We're just going to hit it anyways. Um, we're coming up on, we don't, we don't want to miss, because we've got the, uh, I don't know if you can see, but the Alchemy Lab is on the far side of the map. And uh, we don't want to miss again by a percentage or a percentage of a percentage, so... Yeah, we might have to rush our troops over with the Allied Winds. Yeah, because that thing has got a really high HP. And it looks like uh, Sniper Tower here is uh, under Pangoli's aid skill. So now, here we go. We're going to speed up the Mercs. I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. That's it. Lights out. Okay, so there's 100%. Um, not too shabby. I, I, I got to commend IGG. They do seem to have uh, rectified their platform stability. Um, seems pretty... Uh, haven't been kicked out in the middle of an attack in a little while, and um, yeah, everything seems to be nice and stable, so pretty happy about that. All right, nice, nice job. Um, great, great work by uh, Two Worlds. Everybody's just, uh, they are, it's like lunchtime, um, honestly. They, and these guys are just like, screw this, we're just attacking wherever. Um, for all of you guys out there, uh, this is basically how, how um, teams that are organized attack. They take out the stronghold, they take out the keeps, and then they go to work on the rest of the structures outside. And uh, if they can't get that stronghold easily enough, then uh, they may just uh, skip the stronghold for the um, keeps, take out the keeps, and then that will reduce the HP of the structures in the stronghold. So, just food for thought for leaders that don't really know that that's the... That's a good uh, viable strategy. Uh, wings rule here, and this has been your Guild Clash for Saturday, April 9th. Peace. Open your head, take a glance.